Mercedes had an abominable race in Jeddah this week, and the Silver Arrows struggled with their race pace. The team qualified 7th and 8th with Russell at the higher spot, as their one-lap pace seemed to be quite different than what we saw in Bahrain just one week prior. The team topped the charts in FP2 in Bahrain, and Russell qualified a surprising third and, apart from overheating issues, seemed to handle the track pretty well. But in Jeddah, their race pace was even worse than their qualifying pace, with Russell only managing to go up to sixth place and an unfortunate strategy put Hamilton down in ninth place. The team struggled at the high-speed parts of the track and with the Jeddah Cornish circuit featuring fast corners and long straights, neither of the Silver Arrows could commit to overtakes. Team boss Toto Wolff stated that Mercedes were losing 0.5 seconds per lap due to the disparity in pace, which is a huge number considering how close the top teams are this season. Except for Red Bull, it is clear that we are struggling with the car in the high-speed corners, Wolf said. We are competitive elsewhere, but in three corners here, we were losing about half a second. It was therefore incredibly difficult for the drivers to attack with. We tried something different on the strategy, but unfortunately, with the low levels of degradation we saw across the field, it didn't work out for us. Wolf added that the team has a lot of work to do on the car before the next race in Australia, two weeks later. He wants the team to go back to the performance level the team showed last year, and that these first two weeks have given them a considerable amount of data. We tried something different on the strategy, but unfortunately, with the low levels of degradation we saw across the field, it didn't work out for us, he said. There is so much learning we can take from these first two race weekends, we need to get our heads down to analyse, understand and improve. It's clear that we've got a lot of work to do, but these tough days make you better. Everyone is committed to getting the car into a better place and we look forward to coming back stronger in Australia. Hamilton complained of rear stability throughout the race at faster sections of the track. He also stated that the car was bouncing too much compared to others, which is the main contributor to the pace deficit. Wolf acknowledged these issues and stated that the team has yet to find a solution for the problem that has plagued the Mercedes Challenger for the last three years. He said that though they could have changed their setup slightly, it would not have resulted in a massive jump as the fundamental issue of the car would have still remained. There is only so much you can tune here. Our simulations point us in a direction to a setup range that we can choose. You put the right rear wing on, and I think you gain a few tenths if you get it right or wrong, Wolf told media. There's not a massive corridor of performance. It is a more fundamental thing that we are struggling with, as we believe that the speed so should be. We can moor the downforce, but we can't find it on the laptop. It's been two years that there is something which we need to spot, and that will be the thing to unlock. It is not by a lack of trying. We push hard, and we are going to give it a massive push in the next week or two with more data to understand, to come back in Melbourne stronger. Wolf reaffirmed his belief in his team and added that he is confident that they will be able to fix the issue. According to him, the car is low on downforce, and this is something they cannot fix with just a more giant wing. Instead, they need to develop the car itself to provide more downforce at higher speeds. This is a mission we are on, and I am 100% certain we are going to unlock that performance. The big factor is that we are lacking in the high-speed corners and we are just real weak. We are missing downforce beyond the steps that you would have with a bigger rear wing. There is something which we don't understand because we are quick everywhere else. And when we have a smaller rear wing, we compensate what we are losing through the corners, but it is just in the high speed we are losing all the lap time. Schrussel also slammed the team in a post-race interview. He believes that the team's performance isn't due to their competitors getting faster, but Mercedes themselves getting slower. According to Russell, the team still has not been able to pinpoint the issue, but it likely is the lack of downforce that Wolf mentioned. He added that the other teams were not that far from them, and by just getting the last few tenths, they could catch up to the competition. We are still really trying to understand this car because we have shown true performance at points over the last two weekends, Russell said. FP1, straight out of the box, we were top of the timesheets and always in the top three. FP2, P2, then, both weekends, the pace just falling away from us. That hasn't been our competitors getting faster, that's been us getting slower. So we need to understand why that is, but it's fine margins now. It's so close with ourselves, McLaren, Aston. 
Charles is just a smidge ahead. We just need to tap into it a bit more. Last year, Mercedes also had a rough start, but by the team the British Grand Prix came around, they were able to make a massive comeback and their single lap pace was almost on par with Red Bull. Hamilton was extremely close to getting pole in Silverstone and in Hungary managed to beat Verstappen for his 104th pole position. They aim to have a similar trajectory this year, but with the performance they are showing currently. They have a long path ahead of them. They have not revealed any new changes they are planning to bring in Australia, but from Wolf's statement, we know their focus will be on aerodynamics. Hamilton was also unhappy with the car's performance and was frustrated with the issue that has plagued the car for three years. Like Wolf and Russell, he also faced trouble at higher speeds, and although he could catch up to Norris at the slower corners, his straight line speed was not enough to allow him to overtake the McLaren. The car is relatively good in the low speed and not so bad in the medium speed, but in the high speed, we are miles off, he said. It was like I was in a different category when I was going through the high speed between the other guys around me. It's frustrating for sure to be in three years in a row in almost the same position. It's definitely tough, but we will get our heads down and keep working away. And I know everyone back at the factory is pushing as hard as they can. It will be interesting to see what upgrades the team has in store for the next few races. Mercedes has taken a completely different approach with their car this year and has been able to make it a much more solid base as compared to last year's Challenger. The W14 struggled with rear stability at all corners and this made the car extremely unpredictable according to the drivers. This year the team's main aim was to fix this issue and it seems like they did to some extent but the bouncing still makes the rear of the car more unstable than it should. Hamilton demanded that the team bring significant changes, and as Wolf reaffirmed, the Brackley factory will be hard at work this season to make the W15 as fast as possible. We've definitely got to make some big changes, Hamilton said. We haven't made big enough changes, perhaps. If you look at the three teams ahead of us, they still have different concepts to where we are in some areas, so we've got some performance to add, that's for sure. However, even if the team brings changes, it will be hard to compete with Red Bull, who are already 59 points ahead of the Silver Arrows, and Max Verstappen has not shown any signs of slowing down. What do you think of Wolf's comments? Will the team be able to solve the aerodynamic problems it currently faces by the time Australia comes around? Let us know in the comments below. As always, like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest Formula One news.